Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiana Money. gonna go to salt grass today and i was like why not film another get ready with me i wanted this to be a chit chat um get ready with me but i didn't get a ton of questions i like six questions so i'm gonna figure out how to like make them stretch but i figured i could make them stretch by just talking through my makeup routines a little bit just a little and then like answering questions at the same time done guys i want a bright under eye today i don't know what it is i want a bright under eye. i usually use um the la girl pro concealers but i'm gonna do my eyebrows and I'm probably... I've done my eyebrows on camera before. So I kind of feel like I'm not gonna do them on camera again. I had to go run and wipe off my concealer because I didn't put my primer on. Um, All I do is like my regular skincare and then I wear sunscreen underneath my makeup. Um, since I want to do eyeshadow, I'm gonna use this really, 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 really light concealer. Just because, I mean, the, the eyeshadow color that I'm doing would have showed up. It would have shown up, but it just, I want to make sure. It's just the process. Now, um, I don't do eyeshadow a lot for real. I do the same thing every time. So if my eyeshadow looks a little weird, um, just don't say anything. The only thing I know how to do is like, like dark, like all right here and then something in the middle, or like in the inner corner or whatever. Cause that's usually all I would do. So we're just gonna pray that I figure this out. Okay, yeah. Whew. Sorry. It's good enough. So, first question I got was, what are some of my favorite hygiene products? My favorite hygiene products? And I love, like, the Dove body washes. To me, they're, like, they're really good body washes, at least in my opinion. They're, you know, they're really good body washes, at least to me. So, I mean, okay, this calls for black eyeshadow, and I don't, I didn't even know I had black eyeshadow today, honestly. But my favorite, okay, so the Dove body washes, I love Bath and Body Works body wash too. I mean, it's just like, It's just really, I mean, I like the scents. They're not as moisturizing as the Dove. I messed up. They're not as moisturizing as the Dove, but that's okay. Because they smell good. And then those ones from Target. Ah! Oh, I just put myself in the eye. <laughs> those ones from Target, the Native. Well, they're at Walmart too, but I started to find them at Target. I love those. When I say love, I mean love. They smell so good. I only use one. They're like the van whatever the vanilla, like the brown. I use the vanilla one. It's literally my favorite. I'm not gonna. Okay. I have to like smoke out the liner with. It calls for black. I'm gonna try brown because this is a daytime thing. And I feel like, I feel like the black screams nighttime. You know what I mean? 
Who knows? I I love anything exfoliating. I get these things from Target. I honestly can't even remember the name of it. But those and like the Dove body polishes, they are so good. Like I just used one today. Cause my mom bought it and we were like testing it out. It is really good. Sorry, I have no clue what I'm doing. But I'm just hoping it's gonna come out good without another fact that I spent two minutes trying to draw this on. Honestly, this could be it, boom. <laughs> but no, I'm gonna. This eye looks better than this eye. I love Bath and Body Works, that's my favorite. And then like perfume wise, I just like whatever smells good, to be honest with you. Like Bath and Body Works. Okay, now when I say Bath and Body Works, I like the way stuff smells. I just hate that the scents don't last long. Like, I hate that I have to, dang near like bathe in it i'm gonna have to like make this thinner i didn't think it was gonna yeah i'm gonna have to cut that with concealer again crap i'm following a picture so pray for me y'all I don't do eyeshadow. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared, y'all. Let me go look at another question. Y'all. I am literally so scared right now. Okay, wait, this eye kind of looks good. It's just this eye. I need to like... Maybe if I use a fluffier brush? Like... Okay, wait. No, because it's kind of looking good, right? No, I'm probably not gonna look at this and be like, no. Okay, because I think it's starting to look good. I think it's starting to look good. I just gotta... I also have like no eyelid space. <laughs> so, we're gonna try this. But... I'm gonna try to blend this out and then I'm gonna come back and answer another question once I like get a hang of it. I'm back. I want to go like buff. Ooh, I want to go buff out the shadow and I put some more concealer and now I'm kind of liking it. But I feel like it's just too dark for like daytime. So I'm just gonna. and at first i was gonna leave like the black shadow and just not do any eyeliner but i'm gonna say it looks at the end maybe i won't want any like liquid eyeliner but i have some so i might use it i might not i feel like it kind of looks good without it and uh, but let me go back so i can answer another question how do I tap into my soft girl side? This I can talk about in another shot, I guess. Because I'm not thinking as hard. I tap into my soft girl side, honestly. It took me a minute to figure out how. Because I thought, I, I don't know, I felt like I was being fake. If that makes sense. But I started, like, when I would listen to softer music, for one, it helped. Like, I just turn on, like, Summer Walker or Janae and just be like, hmm. 
But I started to realize that if I romanticized my life, then I felt like I was in my soft girl side. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, I would I dressed up more. I would just do stuff, and I would take cute pictures, and I would just be like, I don't know if I romant if I romanticized my life, I would feel like I was in my soft girl side. Take myself out, just do little stuff. Take pictures, do cute stuff. I'll clean my room. Put on some candles, make the room smell really nice. Like, that was like, sorry. That was how I tapped into my soft girl side. And I would watch like YouTubers that have that did like soft life. And I was like, that's what I want. That's what I'm gonna get. And I did. And it was easier than I thought. You just gotta do everything really dainty. And you just, you gotta feel like you're in your soft girl side. I wish I was. Like, I'd just be in, like, in my robe and I'd just be... i drink my juice out of a fancy-looking cup. <laughs> it would just be stuff like that. Like, it's really... I hope I'm talking long, though. It's very easy. But I watch the YouTubers and I would say that's what they did, like, drinking their tea. And their, I don't like tea, but I will drink my coffee. <laughs> and it was, like... It was really cute and I liked it. I liked the vibe that I was giving myself. And I was like, I should do this more often. And then I started to realize that I don't have to be a hard body. Like me being soft and subtle just to myself was, it was good for me. And I liked it. But honestly, I think anybody can tap into their soft girl side. Like just sitting there taking pictures that was like, boom, I felt better. But yeah, tapping into your soft girl side, it's pretty easy. I say it's easy, but it took me forever to do it at the same time. So maybe it's not easy. But like, mm. it was, it was, it's fun though. When you think about how fun it is just to be like all, you know, lush and dainty and put on my robe, watch whatever TV show I want to watch. And just like chill and i was like okay it was fun it's just like if you think about it as dating yourself and just doing whatever you want to do that's what that's what my soft girl side was literally did i just mess this eye look up i feel like it looks better the way it, like it is on pinterest but i want shimmer <laughs> y'all i plan on putting on some big lashes today <laughs> So if this doesn't turn out exactly how I want, I was gonna cover it up. That was the plan. But yeah, like, honestly, I started watching like, well not started, I've been watching, but like watching Aaliyah's face and Pretty Brie and UA, it was like, basically I seen their lives and I was like, that's what I want. And that was what my soft girl side was to me. And that's just what I kept it as. Should I put eyeliner on? Because honestly, I think this is cute. What I'm going to do. I ended up using my brush that I actually used to fill in my brows. But it's okay. I start to focus and I can't this is why I, I can't talk into makeup so I'll be back once I take this tape off and stuff I'll be all right y'all I'm back and I mean it's cute the only oh I put my tape like in a weird spot and this side is good but this side is like too long but it's fine it's different from the eye look that I wanted, 
but I made it different because it was like black smoky eye it was like all that and I felt like that was just a nighttime look and clearly it's daytime like it's only 10 in the morning so much I felt like it was too much but this is my first time wearing makeup since I got my nose pierced. So I'm like, oh, the mark from the tape. Yeah, this is my first time wearing makeup since I got my nose pierced. And I'm terrified. So, the next question is, what are you going to miss most about Louisiana? And, like, I mean, the food. I'm going to miss some my genuine, like, like I'm going to miss crawfish. I'm going to miss beignets. Like, I'm going to miss my family, obviously. But, like, I'm really going to miss my mom. And I mean, I know that's, I mean, duh. She's not part of Louisiana, but she's my part. Oh, I perm my edges, and it's the best thing I ever did. But back to the question. What am I going to miss? Yeah, my mom, my brother, my family, like all my family, my dad, everybody. And food is so weird. But I'm really going to miss the food. Like, I know they have seafood places in Tennessee but like my makeup looks really light but I promise you it's really my color I just put a lot on I know they have seafood places but if we're being honest here I don't trust them places I don't know they don't have bodies of water so like, where are y'all getting the crawfish and the crab legs from? Like, I eat seafood here, no doubt. But when I think about a place that doesn't have big bodies of water around it, they have seafood, I'm like, mm, questionable. Sorry, I'm trying to. I'm trying to fix my eyeliner mistake, my eyeshadow mistake. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss everything. Louisiana is just like a different, it's a whole different breed of people out here. But I mean, where I'm at is boring, so like, I'm not really gonna miss it. <laughs> I'm gonna miss my best friend though, but we're gonna keep in contact because I told her if she tries to stop talking to me, she tries to be my friend, we're gonna be our own lifetime movie. Take that how you want. Yeah, it's like, there's a lot out in Louisiana, but just where I'm at, it ain't hitting, there's not that much stuff. So, not that much to miss. I don't know. Like, I'm gonna miss everything, but at the same time. <laughs> a change of scenery is always good. I don't know whether I want to use this concealer or this one. But I'm finna do my concealer. Let me see something. Some of this stuff I might cut out so mm. sorry I think I'm gonna do they're both like really yellow. But this one's less yellow, that one's like 
This one's like true gold. And I used to use it all the time. But I was trying to do like the UK girly makeup. next question is i think it said like how do i feel about girl group chats and honestly i like girl group chats because i don't know they just sometimes they're more fun but sometimes they're kind of annoying because like i don't know girls take friendships so seriously all the time but it's also a good thing because like I wouldn't want to be friends with somebody that wouldn't take my friendship seriously, but I don't know. Sometimes being talking to a lot of girls all the time isn't like mm, the greatest. It's very easy to offend people. I mean, I'm a girl. I'm sensitive. I'm really sensitive, but like girls are just very sensitive sometimes. But it's just because girls take their friendship seriously and like they really start to love their friends. And that's not a bad thing. I would be I, like, not. I'm not trying to make it seem like it's a bad thing because it's not. It's just, they're also hard to maintain because when it's like a lot of people, no matter what type, like no matter what size friend group, there's always like that one friend or those few friends that you just talk to more and you gravitate to more. And it's like, nothing personal against the people that you don't gravitate to but it's easy to offend people like if you're closer to one person the other person be like oh you like them more than me you don't like me and then it's like no something i don't like you it's not that i like them more it's just we click more but that's what i had to start to understand like everybody's personalities are different and you can't take everything personally because it's like it's not that they don't like you it's just this per they just click more with another person and i mean you can't be you can't be mad at that but at the same time you can be upset because i mean hey the people you were friends with like somebody else more than you i'd be hurt by that information too but once you start to realize that you know you're not going to be like best friends with everybody every person you meet then it gets easier to like accept you know it gets way easier because like we're friends we're just not like close close friends if i was dying you wouldn't be in my emergency contacts but you know once you just start to realize that hey it's not that they don't like me we just didn't click and that's okay you're not going to click with every single girl you meet. And then it's hard to understand people over text because girls get attitudes. Ew, I sound like a pick me just now. Pretend I didn't say that. But like, it's just really hard to gauge what people are saying through text, you know? Because you might think it's rude and they're like laughing and it's not rude. And like they just like to joke and you don't like the joke but you know it's just really really difficult i think i let my concealer dry too long focusing And I started like placing my concealer a bit differently. I don't know. I think it's doing what it needs to do, but at the same time, I feel like it's not. 
but it's making sure I place less concealer. So that's not a good thing. My under eyes weren't all cakey. But yeah, girl group chats. I kind of went from girl group chats to girlfriend chips, but. It's just, it's hard to navigate when you're talking to all girls. And I know sometimes, like, I make it hard for my friendships because I used to be the person, like, if you're friends with me, you can't be friends with nobody else. Like, well, not you can't be, but, like, I just hated it. Because I was like, why are you talking to other people? Why are you? What do you need other friends for? I'm the whole package. But then I have to realize, girl, why are you taking this so personally? Because I have other friends. I have friends from elementary school like i'm still friends with one of my friends from kindergarten like two of them three a few of them like you know but i just have to learn how to not take things like ouch i have to learn to not take things so personally because like not everybody's like people aren't trying to hurt your feelings most of the time when you fall out with your friends it's over like miscommunications usually would be a miscommunication and it's just hard and like whenever you make new friends you like try to work really hard to be their friend and to do everything they like and you know it's easy for stuff to just happen and then you're like mm. but like I said that's all about who you gravitate to because like I have friends that I talk to more, like, over my other friends. I love them all the same, but I just clicked better with those few people. And it's, like, it's, like, nothing personal and I'm doing it on purpose. You know, I'm sorry that I clicked with somebody else other than whoever. But, like, it's not like I sit back and be like, mm. like, I'm just, it's not personal. And I didn't do it on purpose. I didn't sit back and was like, I'm just gonna gravitate to this person, this person, this person, and not this person. Because that's not even... I wouldn't do that. That's just... It's too much work to purpose and not like people. It's like way too much work. <laughs> but like I said, miscommunications happen. people's feelings get hurt and not saying it's not your friend's job to make you feel good but you can't always get mad at them for like not being on your time okay okay sorry i am over here struggling One question was, well, the next question was pet peeves. My black eyeshadow is like disappearing. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure my makeup is like blended. Like, and when I say blended, I mean. But the next question, I don't know, this question sounds kind of mean. But it was like, pet peeves about other girls. And I mean, like, I don't... I mean, I feel like it's what I talked about for, like, the thing about girl groups. I feel like it's like... I feel like it's pretty much the same thing. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't like saying, oh, this is my thing about girl. Because then I sound like a pick me. And baby, I don't want to be like a pick me. That's why. That's 
not my not my thing like I don't want to be I don't want to misconstrue that information I'm trying to fix my mistakes here you know this side looks better but that's because I don't have the tape I'm gonna just y'all this is why I don't do eyeshadow because I never know what I'm doing This is good enough. It's good enough. It's good enough. But yeah, I'm. The question is not gonna mean. I don't want to say confused by the girls. Cause then I feel like I don't know. I feel like it would start to sound specific to people, and I don't want nobody to play me like I'm being a bully. You know, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna install one. But okay, I'm gonna try bright under eye, y'all. And I'm nervous. I'm very nervous about this. And I probably shouldn't have went this bright. But it's too late. The concealer's already on the face. I exfoliated my lips this morning. My okay. At first, I wasn't feeling the eyeshadow, but right now, looking in this mirror, I'm liking it. I think it's cute. It's not like a kind of sort to do something. Sorry, I'm trying to. I'm trying to just like only put it like sorry. See look at me getting distracted. I'm not just SpongeBob guys. Do y'all like SpongeBob? And if you don't, why not? <laughs> hmm. Should I try to do like Lower la lash line eyeshadow. I'm not. <laughs> I feel like. Is it bright enough? I feel like it's not making a difference. Maybe if I just put a little more. I want it like. Snatched. I'm trying here, y'all. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. But honestly, I feel like my makeup looks really good today. I'm almost out of questions, so. Right? Yeah. I'm on my last question, and then we're near done. But I think the rest of my makeup, I'll probably just like talk. I don't know what about, but like, I mean. I'm like say like oh this is the blush I use and this, this 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 oh but this is the foundation I use today. My color is eight in one espresso. Okay, let's put it back in the box. This is the concealer that I was using. Fenty Beauty four seventy, and then the bright color is Warm Honey. And then I didn't use the Milani one. This is so nice on my eyelid. It's just the Maybelline Color 25. Medium Moyen. I don't know how to pronounce that, but 
That's what I use on my eyes. And then I got this palette off Amazon. And that's what I use the black. Um, it's really pretty. I used to use these for like blush. So I bought blush, but I use the black. I should try to do like pink eyeshadow one day. But it has like lots of, I've used the blue before. And then I used a Juvia's Place, the chocolates palette. For my eyeshadow as well. That as well. Like, trying to blend this out but yeah, I think I want to put a dot a little a little dot of this Milani concealer this is shade 160 warm tan it's I don't know because I feel like if I just keep putting this on it's like it's working but I don't know it's a little Little Maybe this will brighten it some more. Cause I want like right under eyes snatched, you know. And the last few times I did my makeup, I would wait to set my face like because I wanted my blush and everything. But I'm just gonna set it like after I did this. I'm gonna set it with the one size translucent powder. I'm gonna set it. And just set like the concealer just so it doesn't start to crease. Because I want to take pictures. What time is it? It's important. Because I want to take pictures. And I want my face to be like snatched. Okay. But the last question is how do you feel about collabing with other girl YouTubers? I would love it. Because like we can do fun girly stuff. Like, Get rid of with me, get rid of with us type, you know, do makeup, I do their makeup, and uh, stuff like that, you know. Like, the stuff that I think is like fun and cute, we'd be able to do. That kind of stuff, fun and cute. Mm -hmm. And like cooking videos and just like going out, take pictures with us, like, you know, stuff that I think would be so very fun for to do and i mean i'm always up to friends and then youtube friends we can like do content it's always like i think i don't know i think collabing with other girl youtubers would be great and it's just like you always get some fun little wholesome content for real You know, I can be like, oh, we're going out. We're going to go do this. Come do makeup with us. I just think stuff like that would be like so very fun. Do my eyes look bright? I think they do. I think they do. I think they do. I think they do. I, they do. I want a bright under eyes, okay? Um, I just want Where's my Okay, look. I think my under has to bright now. Okay, I'm, I'm going overboard now. I think it's because I'm only placing a little bit though, so I'm like building it up. This, I'm gonna blend up my contour. 
I started placing contour over my my chin. But I think I asked the question one, but I started placing contour around my chin because sometimes when I'm blending out my concealer right here, I felt like I made my chin look big. <laughs> like I, I wasn't keeping it like right on my chin, if that makes sense. The lashes on and like, you know, place lashes, see how they look, get the vibes. I don't see what you're I think I have to wrap brush. I think I know which lashes I'm gonna end up going with if I don't do the big ones I planned. But sorry, I'm trying to make sure my nose contour is like really good. But yeah, what's I saying? Yep, this is definitely burning up now. Y'all, my makeup is looking so good right now. Oh my gosh, y'all. Wait. Let me blend this. Look. Don't it look good? I feel like my camera is like not doing it justice. But like. Y'all ever notice like the difference like when you look in your mirror it's like boom when you look in your phone it's like mm, kind of boom kind of not boom not boom enough that's what I'm getting right now because I'm in the mirror <laughs> that burned but Bro, sorry, I just got so quiet. I think on the parts where I just got real quiet, I'm gonna put some music on with that. I don't know. gonna set like I said set with my one size translucent powder and then I'm gonna get into my bronzer and everything else Back to my bronzer and blush and all that. I'm just gonna put some. Oh, I use the Juvia's Place. I use deep dark and dark. It just depends, but I don't know. I feel like I should use my other one. My the dark instead of deep dark, but I already even placed it, so. and I use this for contour this for bronzer and like it's like bruh I look <laughs> and my mirror looks so good bruh y'all this is a good makeup day I mean like the eyeshadow turned out better than I thought because it's my first time doing it and it looks good and my bronzer is good and I think for blush, I'm going to mix, I'll show you the blush palette. 
this is like a pink and orange i want to buy the new juvie's place blushes have y'all seen those anybody who do makeup y'all seen the new juvie's place blushes i want them i need them okay when i say need that's me being over dramatic but i need them i when i before i got my blush i used to the um dark palette has like a reddish color i used to use that as my bronzer because it was like it's like it's red like it's reddish not red but it's reddish and it was like literally literally the perfect but it was literally perfect like when I want those days when I wanted some type of color but not a lot of color it was literally, literally perfect this is a good makeup day but my contour is like hurting me Maybe. Okay, I think I'm good on the bronzer. And I think that I'm gonna put a highlight on. You should, some days I like to do no highlight because I feel like the sunscreen underneath, the sunscreen underneath, I feel like it really does its thing. Like once I put my settings spray even now, you see how it's like, it's still kind of shiny. That's what it usually does, but. I want some highlights, but see, it's like the pinkish color and the orange. I just like mix them together. Mix them together, and then see, look at that. Can you see that color? Like, I feel like it's. Really perfect and I try I don't like rub the blush on I'm trying to like press it and I'm probably not gonna title this video like you try to get rid of me because I like I said I didn't have that much questions but I mean I don't know like you see it's just like but what i do is i go through with my translucent powder and i pat like over the blush because sometimes it looks harsh like you see how the look like it's cute but it's just like i don't know sometimes i feel like it looks too harsh but i put a lot on because the translucent powder like kind of washes the color out and I think when I use my other powder, I'm not going to do it under my eyes because I want a brand under eye today. And you see how it's like, it's so cute, right? See the blush. I think it's enough. I dare stop. See, it like, tones it down, like, just right. Where's my where's my eyeliner? Let's do my moles. But before I do that, let's do my highlight. And like I said, I use the MAC. Have I said this already? But the MAC and gold deposit. I feel like I've said it, but I'm just gonna say it again just in case I haven't. And then I got this Morphe M10 and 510. Whoa. Forgot the five on there. M510. Are we do you say M510? I don't know if that focus, but I feel like it looks kind of harsh and dry. That's okay. 
And then I have so much stuff. Up. I use the Fit Me from Java, the matte and poreless. I use this as well. On a pot puff. I got these potter puffs off Amazon, by the way. It's like a pack of them. And right now, I look a little scary, like, I look very dry. Once I put my setting spray on, I promise, it just, like, the setting spray will even everything out. But I don't want to put this, I don't want to, I don't want to put that underneath my eye. Because I said I wanted to. I don't want it like a bright under eye, so I'm gonna keep it nice and bright. But I think, I think it's enough highlighter actually. Oh, let me put my highlighter everywhere else though. I think it's enough highlighter because I just wanna. Sometimes I be going overboard. Just a little in the corner because it's not as brown as the eyeshadow and I don't want it to like I'm making my moles and then I'm gonna put my sense brown. I'm sorry, I just forgot my whole makeup routine. I try to place them on top of like my actual beauty marks, but I kind of be forgetting where they're at and then I can't see into the makeup. But this is the setting spray I use. I just get it from the beauty supply. And I could probably, I could probably use a way better setting spray, but put no mascara. I think I'm running out. So, now I need to see what lashes I'm going to put on. My iPad is truly in my way right now. But I'm going to see what lashes I'm going to put on. If I could just move my iPad, that would be great. Uh, I'm going to put my lashes on. My mom. Okay, come in. My mom picked up my lashes. Something was telling me not to. You recording? Mm hmm. It's good. <laughs> Here. <laughs> so I turned the camera. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> but my mom picked up my lashes. But I have them too close to the inner corner. But my my mom picked out my lashes for me because and I think like all the ones I was looking at were just like too they were too fluffy and they were covering up my eyeshadow. And I don't have like well I do have like baby lashes, but I don't wear them. And I'm never going to. It's this eye always, like I always place it on good, but the end always just like drops and it's the most annoying thing in the world. I feel like I just put it back in the same spot it was in. It's just like my... It's always the eyelash on my left eye. Yeah, I think that helps. So we just... Mm. 
Okay. Okay, y'all. Lashes on. So I'm gonna do my lip, my lip liner, my lipstick and stuff. I finally found my lip combo that I like. Like, and I like it a lot. Take off. And lipstick and Vaseline, you know. I mean, I put, I put, uh, what is it, Vaseline? I put Vaseline on. After. I exfoliated. I'm just doing lip liner. I think that was my first time. Do my lip liner kind of good at best. That is not lipstick. I got this Revlon color stay. Stop the focus. It's just color number one. But it's supposed to say satin ink. This is basically the color. Now tell me how this color is this. So when I got it, I was like, oh yes. It's the same color. It's my butter gloss. Cause I wear the butter gloss not the way. Um I know it looks crazy. It looks crazy. It looks crazy right now. But once this dries and I um put my lip gloss on top of it, the color is so cute. But I'm gonna set my face again. And this time I'm gonna get a sponge and I'm gonna press the setting spray. In. Yeah. I'm gonna try to press the setting spray in to the makeup. So the powder and everything, everything can mix together real cute, real nice. You know how we do it. So, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed. Well, let me see what time it is. 11 it's supposed to be 11 30. actually no um my mom wanted me to do her makeup so i think i'm gonna do my mom's makeup but yeah so i'm gonna go see about her makeup so then obviously by the time i do her makeup my lipstick will be dry and i'll be able to put my lip gloss on top but I'm gonna go do her makeup and then when I come back, I'm not gonna have my lip gloss on yet. I'm gonna show you like me putting lip gloss on. But I think I'm gonna probably which one color? What am I gonna do? I think I'm gonna get dressed. So when I come back, I'll probably be dressed and I'll show y'all my hair. I'm just wearing my hair down, it's nothing special, but I, I got my hair rebraided by the way. But yeah. So I'm gonna go see about her, and then by the time I come back, the next time y'all see me, I'll probably have my outfit on. All right, y'all, I'm back. Um, I'm on this white denim dress. I'm gonna stand up in a minute, and then I got this jewelry on. I have an anklet that matches this, and I can't find it, and I'm kind of upset about it. This is how I look with the lip gloss on. Isn't it cute? Like, I think it's just a really cute color. I don't know. I think it's cute. But sometimes I still go in with, like, my NYX Butter Gloss. But I'm not going to today. I think I just want, like, glitter. I don't know what I want. I have like this color, the Fenty, or I have the white one. 
And I just feel like Okay, that was funny. But I think I'm gonna do my hair. I'm gonna just run it down. But I got some more knot sprays. I got like the peekaboo color. I got ginger. I had my mom curl my ends last night just to add a little razzle dazzle, you know. But like I told y'all, I permed my edges. And honestly, it was such a good idea. Because I mean, like. Such a good idea. They look so good and they just stay laid. And then like since they're permed, I just get to like I have this is like there's like a little bit of leftover edge control like on my hair, I guess. But like once I first perm them, I could lay my edges with mousse. So half the time, I probably don't even have edge control on. Sometimes I put some on just when I like feel like my flyaways are like, you know, but I really just a little something. Oh, but the good thing is one of my friends and her mom is coming with us. So it's like a mommy daughter, you know. We're just, we're just gonna eat and stuff, but I mean, it's cute. We're gonna like Charles though, because I, I think we're still going to Saltgrass. I love Saltgrass, I'm so excited to go. But, y'all, the lady who does my braids, my braids look so neat. She had my part on my left side, which I didn't like, so I just kind of flipped them over. But, like, but I want to take pictures, guys, because. I mean, I feel like th this outfit would be really cute on my Instagram. My purse is one of my Fendi bags, and she's really cute. So I want to take some pictures. But, but I'm wearing my hair down. I'm just leaving it in my ponytail until I'm like fully dressed. But this is the oh, I have to get it tailored so it's like now it kind of fits funny. But it's just this. I got it from Kato's. It's just really cute. It's just a little, little white denim. I just got so close to the camera. A little white denim dress, but I'm gonna put this body glitter that I got off Amazon. Mm -hmm. It's just a little body glitter. Fora, Foria, Fora, Fora, P H O E R A is the name. But it's just a body. It's called. Just Glow Body Luminizer. This is like it's a one fluid ounce, but pretty cute. It looks a little bad right now because I use it. I've had it since March, so it's it's been a while, and I use it a lot. This is the bag, and then I got these. I'm not gonna show my feet, but I got some black sandals on. They're like black and gold to tie in the gold, and then I'm wearing this. Dossier perfume. It's um it's supposed to be the YSL. I think black opium is it. This is the fit, this is the look. I feel like I might be able to show. Hold on. You see my dog, but this is just and then it's a little black. They're literally some sandals from Sheen, but this is the outfit. But thank y'all so much for watching. Hope you like, comment, and subscribe. Mm -hmm.